hello and happy Easter, happy Resurrection Day. I have a page full of joy today. The study that I've been doing for the last week, the meditation for today is all about joy. And so I got out colors that bring me joy and a sheet of copier paper, believe it or not, just regular old printer paper. I put an eight by six marking on it so I could have an idea of where my page will be and I wanted to make sure that I painted past it. And I'm painting with cardboard, just chunks of a thick cardboard. And you can chop them just with scissors or with a knife or with a trimmer, whatever you need to chop it. I recommend having a pretty heavy cardboard. And this is a good reason to save a little chunk of it here and there in your art area so you can use it for things like this. And I'm not gonna use any brushes on this whole thing. I will use some pens later, but I'm gonna get almost everything done just using chunks of cardboard. Added a bunch of different colors, layered them on, and the great thing about acrylics is that you can just keep layering stuff on until you like it and cover it up if you don't like it. I'm gonna keep adding things as I go on this one. And I wanted to add a cross to it, and I wanted some black in it so I have some strong lines, but I also wanted to continue using the cardboard, so I thought, well, let me cut one of the pieces of cardboard really skinny. And I wanted my cross to feel very loose. So I even made it kind of deliberately kitty wampus so that it wouldn't be perfect because I wanted it to be full of energy. For me, the whole thing was about the energy and the color and the flow and the just overjoyed happiness. And I took the edge of the cardboard and started making even some lines around the cross and make them stick out in different directions so it was nice and uneven and would have a real playful kind of feel to it. And then I didn't want a big black cross though in the middle of this for Easter. So I was going to have to do something else to it. Started adding other paints. You can either wait until it's dry or you can paint it while it's wet and some of the colors will blend in and mush together. And if you put them on a little bit thicker they'll cover up what's underneath them a little bit better, but don't get too thick because then it takes forever to dry. And if you put it in your Bible before it's completely dry, you could end up with all kinds of problems. Don't ask how I know that. So I kept adding other things to it. I added white because I felt like I missed having some of that white of the paper. So I painted a little bit of white in there and I tried doing a little bit of heat setting with my dryer and it bubbled up my paint. So I let it air dry. I trimmed it down and you can see one of my paints is shiny and I put some double stick tape on the back so it's all ready to add to my Bible and I also rounded the corners with a corner chomper and next up I got out a microperm pen this is a new pen I just bought it's supposed to write on anything so I thought I'd give it a test and it did it wrote pretty well on top of this acrylic and I was pretty impressed with that I started doing just some doodling here and there so I could get extra lines. And then I did some journaling around different places about joy. You know, joy in the midst of pandemic 2020. I, I will never forget this Easter. Because even though we are celebrating Easter in our homes instead of in our churches, I'm okay with that. Even if I'm going to be here my, by myself with my dogs watching my church service on my computer, it's still Easter. Jesus is still risen. He's still alive. And he's still worth celebrating. And there's no reason to worry that Easter has been canceled because it hasn't. You can't cancel Jesus. So there's my page. My little round head almost looks like it has a little body underneath of it. A little, little serendipity going on there. Anyway, it was a lot of fun to make a page like this. Feel free to try it out yourself. And just get some cardboard and some paints and go to town. And I will see you again very soon. Have a blessed Easter Sunday. And I'll see you later.